really, it's been a pretty turbulent week in Welsh rugby. Um, Shane Williams, a case of deja vu. For those of you that haven't heard, a report has been commissioned. Proposals have been leaked. And one of those proposals that's naturally made the headlines is the recommendation to cut the regions from four down to three. What's your reaction? Yeah, they are proposals and I get a bit of deja vu, really. I think it was three years ago we were actually at this stadium, uh, Ospreys against Munster, and the same discussions were going on, not to knock on the three, but to get mergers. So it just seems to be the same and same old. Uh, let's wait and see how it pans out. But I think for me the more, more important things are uh, to how do we strengthen these regions, and that is player participation, age group players, bringing them through, academies is strengthening that, and if you're going to fund anything, fund those areas, let's get the players coming through, let's make the quality of these regions stronger, rather than cut one down and make a difference that way. Yeah, and those have been some of the main areas around six to six nations, you know, pathway development, split between the amateur and the professional game. Um, there are other proposals in this document as well, but how likely then do you think it is that this will happen, given, you mentioned three years ago, you know, that was part of Project Reset, we felt as though we were on the brink of it then. This is a proposal that can, in a small print, be dismissed by the PRB. Yeah, it seemed more likely three years ago, didn't it? Yeah. We looked like we were on the brink of signing, you know, the Ospreys and, and the Scalas becoming one, uh, one region, and there was... You know, pandemonium then, so I don't know. It's, it, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But, but the thing is, for me, it's more negative press for Welsh rugby. We're trying to, we're trying to make uh, rugby in Wales a bit more positive. We're trying to make the national team better. You know, a year ago, we won the Six Nations. So, you know, there was panic, uh, panic buttons being pressed then. We didn't have such a good Six Nations. Now, the regions aren't doing too well. So let's get together and do whatever it takes to make sure that Welsh rugby is positive again and kids are wanting to play rugby again. Dean Ryan is one coach who has spoken about it this week. He said he could really do without these sort of things popping up on his phone at six o'clock. Is that how you feel as a player, Ashton? I think definitely that's, that's how we feel, you know, being the biggest group um, that's going to be affected by something like this happening. Um, you know, to find out the, the same way that everybody else in the public finds out is, um, number one, a bit worrying in terms of being told from the top uh, you know, the details and the options that are on the table. We're seeing the worst case scenario headline, um, which is always going to be concerning for players and their livelihoods, which, um, which is a huge worry. And, you know, that's what we want really, is just that transparency and understanding of what the options are, um, you know, and the process behind what's going on and the decision that's going to be made. The, the proposal outlines, if we go down to three teams, it may save... I think it's between seven and nine million, but that would also reduce the player pool. It would potentially reduce the fan base. We may see players then leaving to go and play elsewhere. Is it a genuine concern as you stand here today? It is a genuine concern, especially, you know, with the player market at the moment, you know, not just in Wales, but over in England, um, you know, in terms of budgeting and those sorts of things. It's a lot more difficult to players, for players to just move around as they did before. But, um, you know, it's going to have to be an option for some players if that was the case. Um, you know, so there's, there's a lot floating around. There's a lot of concerns for a lot of players. Um, you know, thinking about that scenario. But like Shane said, hopefully um, that's not the option that, um, that is put forward and decided upon by the, the PRB. And just quickly, will it have any effect on the performance this afternoon? Uh, I don't think so. You know, the players aren't thinking politics when they when they're heading into a game or especially a derby. You know, they'll be focusing completely on playing um, and performing. Uh, you know, for each other and, and for the coaches. So um, I don't think it would have ended their heads uh, as, as early as today.